Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Fallout 4. So, I wanted to drop some stuff off, which I forgot to do. Alright, what have we got? Uh, where are we? Don't want that for now. Okay, let's keep going. Keep that, keep that, keep that. Yeah, I want to drop all of those off. No. Plastic. Some steel as well, I remember. Guessing that's. Oh, whatever. Scavenger's lead. Don't even know what that is. Dump the wood. Yeah, that'll do. Now it's freed up a bit of weight. Now, what quest do I want? I suppose we could continue with the main quest for a bit. Where do I want to go? Yeah, that'll do. Check out this new laser sniper rifle. I don't think it's going to be as good as the 50 cal, but. Mm. I suppose I should go through and read all the books. At some point. But yeah, we'll leave that for now. Yeah, this is pretty good. I heard a uh, turret. And also, I thought I'd cleared this area out, but I guess not. It looks like somewhere I've been before. Sure is. Right, and I'm going the wrong way. Okay, let's have a look at the map. So I want to go this way, is it? Yeah, it looks like this way. something a bit more wander randy you're dead
Oh, you've got... Food and ammo. 308 rounds as well, which is nice. the right way. Looks like it's in here. I, I, I see stuff that looks lootable. And yes, there is stuff that is lootable. Shooting up. So somewhere around here is where I need to go. Go back and get you later. Not what I want. This is what I want. Ah, fat fingering things. so slow. Hmm, whatever. Um, right. Cram. That's that dandy cakes, gumdrops. Crisps. It, no. I need caps lock. Okay. Oh, stuck in the scenery. The, I need to drop the spiked board, puncturing board, there we go.
Yeah, this gun ain't so good. This is my, uh, oh, 50 cal guns, right, so it's this way somewhere. Ah, I see it, nice. Now how do I get there? Not exactly like I'm hurting for healing stuff, so... Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna find another way around. I'm guessing I can maybe go through here. Where we were going before we got rudely interrupted by the super mutants. down here. No. That's back down there. Okay. Huh. There has to be a way of getting there. Scenery. Slotted. Right. Level up. Let's see what's available first. Can find a four. Gun that three. We'll take that instead. Sworn I've cleared this area, but whatever. Okay, and you, what did you have? Charging laser sniper rifle, okay. Probably just rip parts off of that. Right, uh, yeah, that's just gonna get dumped. I mean, it's nice, but it's not good enough. Well, this one's boosted laser rifle. I oh, will rip parts off of that. Um, and to be honest, the the 50 cal sniper just seems to be the best option at the moment. Um, 
don't think I've been down here. Okay. Oh, definitely have it. Apparently I need a gold plate to flip lighter. I don't remember that. No, oh, whatever. That's a different quest, and we'll probably want to do that later. Somewhere from this direction I need to go, but I can't figure out where. way. Um. I definitely cleared this area, right? up top. Okay. Oh. It would help if I didn't keep falling through holes in the ground. It's no, I can't see a way in. Cause that's just leading me back round to Ah, there we go, there we go. At least I found where I need to go now. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor. You can't go walking around without insurance. Sure. Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody. I'm in power armor. If someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You laid off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. 
This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? Yep. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident change your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Okay, I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Okay. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Thank Except you. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Let's see what you have. A gun for every occasion. I'm sure you do. Now, do you have... Ooh. Ooh. Don't want automatic. Wait, 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 wait. That's going to be better. That's going to be much better. Rapid combat shotgun. No, I want the uh, on the higher damage. Muzzled advanced double barrel. Party starter. <laughs> no, I don't need a power armor frame. Recoil compensated, boosted, improvised. Laser. I'm guessing that's a laser musket. Is it rifle? Definitely shit with the oil. It's automatic combat. All right. Uh, let's see. That does look like a laser musket what I want but I don't know I'll leave it I will however yeah yeah because it's got the better stock I probably want to rip the parts off of that don't I or do I Alright. Thank you. Hello. Hey. Oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very fun. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Sure. Let's take a look. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. Thank you. All right. Anything I want to sell? I don't think so. Like it. Alright. Well, I've got a lot of stuff I need to dump back off at Red Rocket, so <laughs> I'm going to go do that first. And strip down that uh, 50 cal, the, the muzzle 50 cal. Oh, and I got a new level of uh, gun nut, didn't I? 
You can go and see if I can make a, a silencer for the 50 cals. No. Maybe. Hopefully. Possibly. And I think I need to have... Um, I think I need to have Mr. Ghoul with me. All right, uh, all right. Red rocket, yes. Hmm. I'm definitely gonna be over encumbered here. That's okay. I hope this has something to do with our mission. Uh, I've done all that yet. I want muzzle make standard sights. Break it down. Ten hatch of a shotgun, marksman's fifty sniper rifle, so it's boosted laser sniper. Break that down. I'm going to put that away. I'm going to keep that. Yeah, let's put away the compensate forty-five pipe rifle. Wanted. Okay. Right. Still junk. All right. Let's see what we've got here. change the uh, mag out on that we'll check in a minute what else have we got it's the that one Okay. It's a night vision scope. Right. I want to change that out first things first. Okay. Uh, I want the medium scope. Yeah, medium scope. Access. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 
Mountain Rifle Short Scope Maybe Magazine Quick Check Mag Scope will do. Muscle break will do. Oh, okay. It's actually got a better mag. Okay. There we go. Still can't make a suppression. I thought I got that. Yeah, I've got gun nut three. So what am I missing? Oh, aluminium, that's it. Still, you know, it's definitely a uh, nice little sniper rifle. All right, I need to go to Diamond City. I can't even remember where it is now. Go. All right. It's a shame these people have to live in fear. Yes. Sheltering in this old stadium when all those perfectly good buildings are still standing outside. Yep. It is a shame. I do. This way. Ah. Don't be caught. I don't know why we let Valentine <laughs> protection in. from Commonwealth weaponry. People, and everyone forgets that he's freaking sent. Yeah, he's a sent, but whatever. Where is he? Okay. I can't even remember where I sent him now. Oh well, never mind. That's a good neighbour, and we'll go and uh, go and talk to him. Maybe Nick's there. Maybe. Safety's off. I don't like the look of this place for any kid. But I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy. Glad you can make it. How's my favorite girl? Didn't I see you on David Morowski the other day? Oh, okay. Seems like a nice place. Alright. Well, well. Mr. Valentine. Ah, he's here. I thought you had forgotten me about the lemon. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs. He's sick for breakfast. Here for Amari. She's downstairs. 
Damn, girl. You know how to dress. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle. You've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. So do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. <laughs> What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Uh, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen... All Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, a brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary. Pull me out, okay? Let's see you. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Yep, sounds good. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. How the future hasn't adapted to widescreen yet. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Keep an eye on me, Dance. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Okay, this is freaky. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Huh. Remember, 
Mom knew how it was. These memories as she wasn't soft, this made but uh, disorienting at first. she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. Mm-hmm. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah, you've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the sheep. A lot of standing around looking tough. The thing about happiness is... You only know you had it. And it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but... Uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. You sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, honey. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found 
another memory to try. I'll connect it. Thank you. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people. Pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? If that's the way you want to do it. So who do you there was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. Who are dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Okay. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. System offline. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Mm -hmm. We are running out of brain here. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so... This one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course. Neither did they. Not really. Posse six. Down the hall near the end. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. 
But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller. Hmm. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never liked to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Uh, all right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Mm hmm. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so. Good news, I think. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'll be back to normal business before too long. They weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I 
guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. Are you taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Okay. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Oh. Alrighty then. Back to the glowing sea, I guess. Sure, there's no long term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes, their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea for a reason. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. Power armor. Be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. All right. Hopefully, something useful. Nothing. Just a pile of junk. Okay. Let's get back in me power armor then. Go and talk to Nick. Yep. Hey, Nick. Nick, hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg, is that you? What? What are you talking about? Sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, if you've got company already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Yep. Right. I've already been to the glowing sea once, I should be fine. Let's uh, go and have a look and see what's out there. When it wants to load. It's kicked in, so. See you around, Nick. Here? No. How do I? How do I remove the marker? Okay. So 
fast travel here. Alright. Okay. Yeah, we'll push on with the, um, the main campaign for a bit. Now I'll go back to help in a minute, I think. But for now. Go over here then. This area seems to be in disarray. We may have a problem here. Not getting past me. Not getting past me. Legendary Raider. Oh, he's mutating. overrun the episode a bit so I'm going to call it here as always I want to thank you all for watching you know how YouTube works 